Howdy, everybody! It is I, the Senate, and welcome to the second to the final part of Gundam Seed Rango vs. Zap. And these last two missions make you rage quit the most. And it is one of the reasons why I do not recommend newcomer play this game because the last few missions, if you okay, the last few missions, these guys are so freaking powerful they can kill you in a few minutes and you cannot believe how many times I died here I'd rather not show you all my death I just go ahead and fight him uh, I recommend you pick any mobile suit that is a range a really good range like the Freedom Gundam, the Buster Gundam and Forbidden Gundam I think I don't know, the, the one that August pilot. But, the thing about it is, because these last few missions are so tough, they actually send in three daggers to help you with the mission. Because the thing about it is, as you can see, I only get hit probably like two or three times, and half of my health is almost, is already gone. So, you do not want to get screwed up in this mission um, I mean you can get screwed up in this mission really really quick and I think there's a limited amount of time these dagger will be sent into the mission as well so yeah because the thing about it is I actually played this mission a bunch of times because even though it's really hard I actually kinda enjoy it but the thing about it is the more you wait the, the more I'm not recommended because like I said the dagger they only send in the dagger a few times well I think they send in a bunch of the daggers but after a long long time they would not send in any more daggers so you have to really really try your best to drink the justice freedom health as much as you can and the freedom Gundam is the best mobile suit for the drop here because it have unlimited amount of charge shot and the charge shot can do a whole lot of damage which is a really really good thing and the other mobile suit that I recommend you use uh, for these kind of mission is the Buster Gundam or the uh, Forbidden Gundam or whatever the hell that Gundam name is I can't remember I told you before but I just gotta remind you and one more thing that you need to know is you need to learn how to put up a shoe and you can put up a shoe by doing the down and up button so yeah if you don't remember some of these things I'm gonna be posting a video on basic mo on the basic movement and all that crap so you can use it so yeah in that video, I'm going to be explaining how you can do shoe and all that stuff. And... yeah, Oh yeah, here it is. The dagger is no longer uh, coming in. Um, I assume that the daggers will be coming in to assist you with finding the justice. Until you lower the health to... 10%, then they don't send it in anymore. That's what I'm assuming. I'm not really sure. So yeah, that's the justice. Now, I think we're moving on to the Providence. And I got my butt. Yep. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you one of my death. Um, the thing about it is, if you've been playing the Justice Gundam, then you will start to get a hang of how these things work. Because I did not have much trouble fighting the Providence Gundam with the Buster Gundam at all. I guess I have too much experience dying to the justice that I actually know what to do. Uh, like I said, these last few missions, they really, really test you on your mobile shooting skill, I guess. I mean, <laughs> mobile suit skill. On your piloting skill, because for one, you have to make effective use of the double dash system here. Because it can really, really save you. And I don't think the Buster Gundam can put up a shield at all, so the double tap dash is gonna be your best friend here. And of course, the cross shot. 
like I said, in my basic movements or whatever it is, in my basic movements videos for beginners, uh, the Buster Gundam have two charge shots. And you can use a second charge holding the triangle button. So, as you can see, I only get, if I remember correctly, I have only been get shot by the Providence Gundam up until now a few times, one or two, I don't know, three. But you can pretty much see that it drained my health pretty quickly, even though it's just a normal shot. Not a chill shot, not anything, just a normal shot. And it hurts for mega damage. So do your best to stay away from these guys. Bring in a ranged mobile suit, because again, I mean, you can bring in a melee mobile suit if you want to. I'm not gonna go against that. But if you really want a easy, an easy, easier time with this guy, I recommend you use a melee. Um, if you're gonna use melee, folks, you should just wait for Providence Gundam to attack you first, and then you can attack him. Because the thing about these older games is that uh, when you attack somebody and you fail to hit him or the or the mobile suit, you will be wide open for a brief period of time and then you can attack the enemy that way. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm waiting for the Providence to attack me first and then I'll attack it. See? If the Providence gun does miss the target, then you are pretty much safe. And there you go! Wait for him to attack you first and try to dodge the attack by doing the double taps dash. Then you will be fine, folks. You will be fine. And these last three missions, they are pretty good for grinding, I guess. And once again, if you want to have an easy, easy time with these bosses, bring in a ranged mobile suit. You can bring in a launcher strike too. So yeah. Oh, and uh, one thing to remember is that if you want to get the Freedom Gundam, unlock the Freedom Gundam, then you will have to play at the Strike Gundam until it max level, then you can get the Freedom Gundam. That's how you get it. I think I talked about it before, but <laughs> because this game is so long, I, quite honestly, I don't know what to talk about. The game I've been waiting to play is actually Gundam C Destiny Rainbow vs. Zap 2 Final Plus. Because it is a game that I grew up with and it's one of the best video games that you can play in uh, in a Gundam vs. series. I recommend that game too. But anyway folks, I'm using my old strategy here and wait for the freedom to attack before I attack it. Because once again, if you attack and then you fail to hit the target, you leave yourself wide open for a shot. And <laughs> the thing about it, if you get hit by these guys, holy crap, you will notice a fifth of your health is gone or a fourth. So whatever you do, bring in a ranged mobile suit. I do not recommend a mobile suit. I think I actually attempt to um, see, <laughs> a bunch of my health is gone. But I think I actually attempted to use melee. I actually attempted to use melee on the Justice Gundam with the Freedom, and it actually worked out really, really well until you failed to hit me. <laughs> so don't do that. In fact, if you still have the Bliss Gundam, you can actually bring in the Bliss Gundam and help yourself that way. Because the Bliss Gundam is actually a really, really good Gundam to play in this stage or mode. Because the Bliss Gundam has the um, invincibility, invisible, invisibility period, and when you turn invincible, uh, invisible? <laughs> then, the Freedom Gundam will always miss you. 
when he tried to attack you, and then you can use that opening and attack the freedom with a melee. And that is what I used to fight uh, Raul Cruz back in the day until I screwed up at the very, very end and I have to redo the whole entire game with a different gun. And um, the thing about it is there is actually a retry option if you happen to lose or pick or win the mission. So always there's gonna be an option where you can retry the mission for a higher score. And because this is not a PS Vita or a PS4 or a PS3 game, I don't really care about all the rating or the ranking. All I wanna do is finish the game, that's it. Oh, and one more thing to consider, um, when you fill up your seat mode, I recommend you use it to save yourself from any kind of devastating attacks. And you can activate it by pressing the L and R at the same time. And I will see you all in the next part, folks.